Welcome back to Ask the Plant Doctor. I'm Tim Pollock with the WSU Spokane County Master Gardeners, and today we're going to talk a little bit about some things we see in the garden at the end of the season. We're in September now, and one of the things a lot of us are seeing in our garden, whoops, is wind. But we're also seeing powdery mildew. And today I'm looking at some powdery mildew disease on carrots. People have lots of questions. They come into our plant clinic about this, and what we're seeing here is this white powdery substance on top of the leaves. It actually grows on top of the leaves. It isn't growing out of it, but rather on top of it. Powdery mildew affects a wide variety of vegetables. Uh, we just so happen to have it on carrots today. And one of the questions that we get a lot is, well, should I just dig these up and throw them away? And the answer in this case is no, because we're not eating these carrot greens. Most of the time we're eating the carrot root itself. And so this isn't touching the, the part of the plant that's edible. If this was actually growing on the carrot or on the squash or on the cucumber, then you might not want to eat that. Um, a little bit is probably not a dangerous thing, but a lot of it, if your cucumber is really covered in powdery mildew, you might not want to eat that, especially if you notice an off taste. Uh, anything that tastes off, especially if it's had any disease on it, that's kind of a sign that, you know, let's let this one go, maybe put that one in the compost pile or, uh, or throw it away. Speaking of which, another question that we get about powdery mildew is, is it safe to compost like the greens of these carrots? Most of us uh, composting at home are doing what we call passive composting, meaning that we cut these down, we throw them in the compost pile, and we're not out there turning the pile every every so often. Um, we're just letting it break down over, say, over the winter. If you're passive composting like that, then probably it's not going to break down the, the spores, the powdery mildew spores that are, are living over the winter. And so you might not want to throw these carrot tops in your compost pile. Now on the other hand, there are so much uh, powdery mildew just blowing through the air that it may not make a huge difference. And so you might compost anyway, uh, because if it doesn't come from your compost, it might just be uh, blowing in from somewhere else. In my garden, I choose not to compost any of the things that have disease on them because um, I don't need to add any to my to my uh, plant diseases in my garden. So I throw away the infected plant parts and the weeds, uh, and I just keep the ones that are pretty healthy for my compost pile. Other people I know don't do that, and they seem to be okay. So powdery mildew is a common problem in our garden. It affects all sorts of plants from carrots to squash and cucumbers. You'll see it even on uh, dahlias. You'll see it on calendula. All sorts of different plants will get it. Um, and the interesting thing about it is that there are they're not all the same disease. They have lots of different, there are lots of different species of fungi that cause the same symptoms. So just because you have it on your squash or your carrots doesn't mean you're going to get it on your cosmos or your watermelon or your turf grass. It can be a different species of disease. So don't worry about it necessarily spreading from your carrots to your squash. Um, but if it shows up on your carrots, that means that, that you have a favorable environment in your garden that might allow powdery mildew to grow. So just be aware of that and, uh, and take extra care. Give your plants a little bit more space between them and that reduces the chances of powdery mildew in your garden. 